Hi everyone, welcome back. I've been wanting to talk about what I would do if I had you here right in front of me and I could help you. And I'd like to more and more want to talk like that. What I'm going to do first of all is go through this for the people who don't need a very long explanation. The interesting part for some of you would be, you might watch this. I know some of my students are not getting this at all, but they might watch this and suddenly go, I got it this time. So watch me fairly quickly go through these. And then I'll talk a little bit about that, more understanding if there's people in here and uh, watching who want to know more about it. When you're multiplying decimals, it really is just the two multiplied by just the three. And most people here, this is why I picked the two and the three, would just go two times three is six. So let's hope for most people are okay that two times three is six. And then you get the question of where does a decimal go? And of course people say why. I'm going to go through a lot of these first quickly, and then I'm going to come back to my chocolate bar for those who want to find out more about why, and I'm going to show you a bit more about why later. Some of you might just fast forward to the chocolate bar section and see what's going on there. So, simplest rule for those who understand it, some of you it's like, it just doesn't make sense to your brain. There's one number there on the right of the decimal place. Now, if you have trouble with right, I sometimes hesitate saying to the right. We call it after the decimal place. So let's just talk about set of right or left. There's one number, that side of the decimal. This here is another number, that side of the decimal. Now this is not teaching understanding, this is teaching how does this work. So when I get the answer, because I had one on that side and another one on that side, I've got to have two on this side. So if I put the decimal there, I've only got one on that side. I don't want one on that side, I need two on that side. So I'm just going to leave it as that for a moment and show you another one in case that makes sense to your brain instead of going lots of details. There's another one on that side, there's one on that side. So one times four, it's got to be a four. So we know it's got to be a four, it can't be anything else. Then you've got one, that side, another one, that side. So again, we need two. I'm going to use my little arrow thing. I need one, I need two of them there. And it doesn't become there, it goes in front of it. So all sorts of ways we could talk about that that becomes a zero. So then I've got the one decimal that side and another decimal that side becomes two decimals that side. Not an understanding, it's just how it works. So it only works for multiply. Doesn't work for addition, doesn't work for subtraction. So those two are basically the same, but this one's different, a little bit different. There's one there and there's one there. Most people would be okay with going three, fours or 12. You could pick up your calculator or look up your times tables. Three times four has to be 12. Now we need two decimals on that side. It has to become two decimals on that side. So I'm gonna start, it's almost like saying start from the right and work backwards, ready? So there's one, there's two, and the decimal has to go there. I'll just go to back to black pen. Decimal has to be there. Doesn't mean people understand yet. But a lot of people I find can do it and get the questions, but not necessarily understand and later on they understand. Another thing that happens to people, they go, yeah, I got it, but they haven't really. So hang in there or fast forward if you think you're right. Three, five to 15, most people are okay. You can pick up your calculator if you wanted to. You can do it with your calculator 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. So we've got one decimal there on that side, another decimal on that side, so we need two on that side. So you start this way though, and you go there's one, there's two, and the decimal goes there. So really, those four questions are all basic but the same. This one's different, this one I'd like students up. There's one on that side, there's two on that side, there's three on that side. Now I could say to the right, so you think about your hands, your left hand, with your right hand. There's three on the right, so when I get my answer, I need three on the right. Now watch how this traps people. Two, three is a six, and I need a fair bit of room, just so I need one, two, three decimals on that side. So there's one, there's two, there's three, so there's my three decimals on that side. So if I stopped and had a look at it and put the point there, you double check and you go one, two, three on that side, one, two, three on that side. Student after student will write that wrong. And they'll just put things like, look, uh, 0 0.06, and they won't have enough numbers here. So in the end, it's like saying, I need all three of those because I had two here and I had one there. Let's go to the next one, if you're okay with it, now we'll jump a whole new step. Two threes again to six, so that's easy. But then you know, I left all this space in front of it. I've got two on that side, I've got another two on that side, so all together my answer has to have four. And again, there's no understanding, I'll go back to the chocolate in a minute. 
for those who just want a short video and a short revision and fix up their problems, this might be all they need. Now, those who want it can watch me do the chocolate and it's a longer video. So four, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and I'm starting on that side. I'm not starting here and going four. I'm not going, I'm not going 0 0.6000, 0, 0, 0, 0. that's completely wrong. Starts on that side. One, two, three, four, put the dot. So the two decimals here and the two decimals there means four decimal there. So if you look at it common sense way, they're on that side, they're on that side, they're on that side. Now another little one that mucks people up, three threes and nine is nice and easy. And lots of students get this one wrong as well. Let's have a look. This one's got no decimals. This one's got one. So our answer has to have what we call one decimal place. This had two decimals and two decimals means it's got four decimal places. No decimals, one decimal, one decimal place. So there's my one number, starting that way, and I put a dot in front of it. Let's check, see if it makes sense. There was one on this side, there's one on that side. Last one, a bit like that, but a little bit different again. Two twos are four, so if I get my four there, I can go two twos are four, remember? Just going through the basics. So, there's no decimals there, there's two decimals there. So I need two decimals here. I can put the little arrows on if it makes sense to your brain that that works. So coming back this way, so there's two on that side, I want two on that side, but don't put it there, I put it there. So some people have no idea what they're necessarily understanding with decimals, but they can understand the working out, just get the question right. Now when I talk about this idea, let's see why it works. If I had 0.1 times 0.1, there's so many things I can say. Let's try this one. I tried this the other day with my year eight class and some people went, got it, and others still didn't get it, but maybe that's helped there. Point one, is, it actually means if we wrote it in words, it means one tenth. It means if you break something into 10 parts, so let's look at it, that's one out of 10 parts. And we're gonna multiply that by another one out of 10 parts. Now, sometimes we go in circles in math and we say I use fractions to explain decimals, but hang in there for a moment. If you look at my fraction videos, I go multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. One times one is one. 10 times 10, lots of trap, lots of students write 20. 10 times 10 is 100. So a tenth and a tenth, when you multiply them, become one 100, which is really, really small. So I'm gonna to go to the chocolate now and have a look at the chocolate. Maybe I'll draw on it like this. Hopefully on the video you can see there's 10 pieces and my chocolate, I could open my chocolate up, but I want to draw on the wrapper. So there is one tenth, that's one piece out of the 10. There's another one tenth, one piece out of the 10. Now if I said to you, in this normal everyday English, I want you to get one tenth of one tenth. And let's see if that makes sense to you. So if I said, you can have some chocolate, you can have one tenth of one tenth. You go, well, wait a minute, that's one tenth. Then I get that little one there and I'm going to break it up into 10. I'm getting one tenth of one tenth. So I'd have to split that and I'm, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can draw it. Oh, that's pretty good. It's rough, but you can see how I do it. There's the chocolate across there. So if I said you can have one tenth of one tenth, you get one of these tiny little skinny parts. You go, how big is that tiny little skinny part compared to the whole chocolate? That's one out of 100. So I've got 10 there, that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I'd have 100 tiny skinny little pieces. Nice if I put in ice cream, which I did the other night but with uh, a chocolate here. So we've got one out of 100 all together. So you can see that a tenth of a tenth has to be 100. And when we're multiplying, when we say of, we mean multiply. And when you're multiplying fractions, we multiply the tops. It's not a lesson on fractions and we multiply the bottoms, we get the 100. Okay, go back to here, and you've got the point 0.1 by the point 0.1, and 100 means this, because that's the tenths, and the next one means hundreds. So point 0.1 times by point 0.1 has to be point 0.01. So go back to my rule, I'll get rid of that again. Go back to my red, there's one decimal on the right, and there's another decimal on the right, and that means there's got to be two decimals on the right. Or if you don't, if you're not comfortable with right, one decimal on this side and another decimal on this side, there's two decimals on that side. 
And then you can go back to the questions and do all the questions over again. If you're enjoying it, please, you hear everyone say, press subscribe and press like. If you do that, it just helps support me. Thank you.